When I was 18, just after my first child was born, the Commonwealth Games were held in Jamaica. World records were broken. Now, 48 years later, my grandson is here, 18 years old. He is entering the third stage of education. Jamaicans of Josh's age group are doing great things at the Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh. But it's time to eject the ruling family of Britain and outlaw any ruling class in Jamaica. So over to you now, Josh. I'm just looking forward to entering a new stage in my life and hopefully I can spend some more time at the show where I can get advice from some other people who have been through the same things that I'm about to go through now. Well, thanks. I'm so glad you'll be here at the University of the West Indies. Straight up, News Talk 93 FM. I'm Jerry Smart. Yes, greetings and um, welcome to Straight Up for Today, the 7th of August. Uh, I'm your host, Jerry Smart. And we broadcast live from the studios here of New Stock on the Mona campus, the University of West Indies, you know that. And we are all heard all over. And we are scattered all over. So greetings to the family that is scattered all over. And I'm going to play two pieces of music. One, this one here first. It's telling me about you know, the ties that bind the families that are scattered all over. But we still are bound by certain ties. It's a beautiful one from Brooke Benton. The ties that bind. Straight up. Yeah, that's beautiful. Brooke Benton. Reminding of the ties that bind. Well, you know, death itself is not a tragedy. Death is not a tragedy. It's a part of life. But people and even animals and even trees, plants, can die under tragic circumstances. The circumstances under which death meet life can be tragic. But death itself is not a tragedy. It's a part of life, and it's a part of life. And so, even though that is not a tragedy, when we part company, we feel pain. When we part company, we feel pain sometimes. So it is with that sense that um, we comfort one another, you know, especially the family. The genealogical family close of Patrick Beckford, Becky, Isaacar. And the real and true family of him and of us all, you know. Where Patrick Beckford, um, him take leave of us yesterday, you know. So we're going to play one of our favorite. Yes, man, I feel much better when you hear that. Because Becky, you know, Becky, early in the year, I work at Barclays Bank, I'm a teenager still, you know, and I meet Poggy Medical Bridgen, 14 year old, I couldn't believe. See, a 14 year old could have known him way so much. But maybe people look for me the same way when I was 14, and we start step together. And then later down in the year, little after, you know, the summer holidays, I believe. Meet Becky and we, we are step together, you know. And we move, we not stop moving step from that time. Well, him could have stepped a little faster than me, you know. Matter of fact, him win the 100 meters of champs that year, 1967. Me can step maybe not a little longer, but a little longer distance. And, and him is a sprinter. But we keep in step, you know. And we step together all over the place. I want to show we step even more at night, more we step a day, because that is the time when um, we're looking for good company, good, decent female company 
And we keep company with them people from that time till them time. Eh? Can't not just the flesh, you know. It is the spirit. It is the spirit of the good female, them, that, um, the male, uh, peers, you know. When I say peers, I mean peer like man, peer of, you know. I mean P-E-E-R-S, which means equals. Equals. The male equals are always seeking the company of the, the good and the kind-hearted and good-natured females. And that is our life growing us, you know. And we find ourselves attracted in a puberty towards the female company. And good female company, because all the female them which is choose to keep company with, you know, good-natured, good human being. Because another us, and not just no sex and no pleasure we are dealing with. We just feel good to be in good company. And we discuss all kind of things. When people believe they are just sex and money, we are thinking about it. And that preoccupy our mind. <coughs> Those are part of the embellishments <coughs> excuse me, of life and the purpose of our life. Made to serve us. But that not preoccupy with time. Anyway, it's good. It's good when you... It's good when you find good company, especially from your young, and you keep them good company right through you do. What you can do while it is yet day. Because the night cometh when no man can work. That was the advice you now. Yet you know say work can be done in the night. People are maintaining light not the night. People are maintaining law and all, all kind of thing. But um, psychologically and spiritually them lesson was taught. That you know, do what you are doing while there is light and while it is day. And maximize the time when these conditions are favorable. Because the time that conditions not favorable that will come and you're not going to be able to do no work. So the night only symbolizes the less favorable time to do work. Yet work can be done in the night. So, you know, lessons are taken with a grain of salt. Meaning that what? You learn lessons and you don't go by the letter of the word or the letter of the law. The exactness of the law, the exactness of the word. You go by the spirit of the word. That is what benefits you. Know, the spirit of the word, the meaning, the true meaning of the word. Not the letter. And the exactness of it, but the spirit of it, the, the, the value of it, not the meaning, not the exact meaning, but the value. Value is even more than meaning. Well, now I'll lecture you, know, just a share. You're sharing. And as I say, when people, when, when death meet life, and you have a part, even life, your life part comes to your body. Your life don't die. It only part comes to the body. Well, when in time, Death meet life and we're part company. Um, you feel a sense of loss, but you don't lose nothing. You do is only a sense of loss. Because you have got the full the fullness out of the company of that person. You get the fullness out of the company of that person. And then you are saying that you lose that person. No, you got the fullness out of the company of that person. You would like to have had more. That's just a natural feeling. But it is not the full truth. The full truth is that you got the full, the fullness out of that person company. And that come to an end and other things go on and other things start. Every day something come to an end, every day something else start. But yesterday there was a anniversary of Jamaica independence. You know that the independence wasn't real, but still, you know, you still um, pay some respect to the feeling of your fellow citizens that the independence is real. And you, um, you make the best of it, so. You see them have a celebration at the stadium. But, um, it is pitiable when, it is pitiable when human effort is not really driven by, it's not really driven by conviction. You know, not really driven by being convinced that the right is possible and you are getting together to do the right. It's only driven by what? We could see what can go on. The, 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 the motivation of make we see what can go on is nothing to be compared with the dream, with the motivation of the pursuit of good and the knowledge that good must overcome evil. So when your ideals are low, your expectation low, your performance must be low. The, um, the celebration of Jamaica National Celebration around the island, including Denby, which Muta Baruch had to blast Blasting Denby as an alternative to the recognition of the freedom of the African people out of slavery. Blasting it. 
Yes, him did blast it, and it's rightly so. The, the celebration, the national celebration of independence, you think that can compare with the spirit of Marcus Garvey and him work? All them little shenanigans yes, they go out with a stadium yesterday. Both them are represent you and I. It's a joke, a poppy show. It's a poppy show. It was a pantomime of Garvey. A pantomime of Garveyism and the United. A pantomime. A pantomime. It was a joke. That what them are present. They take money and, and spend hundred million and them are present and a project Garveyism and you and I. It's a pantomime and a joke. It only causes the young people them to respect Garvey and the movements and the ideals less and take it for a poppy show. Some like a so-called marching band. Them don't teach you them to march properly. Much less think properly. Not them, them can't march properly. Them not having no ideals. They're not driven by any ideals. So they couldn't even teach you to march properly. It turned out to be a song and dance claiming to represent the Garvey movement. And the UNI is a poppy show and they had some other actors, some well-known national figures helping them to act it out. It's a joke. How can people make themselves so ridiculous? But it shows up so much. You're not dealing with Garvey. You're not dealing with the redemption of the people. So what you put on must come out as a poppy show. A poppy show. And in so doing the government and the political establishment is confirming some political puppets as being the custodian of Garvey movement confirming them links with the pnp and links with the jlp such people them confirming as custodians of unia and garvey is a poppy show acting out acting out just like what shakespeare said the life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signify nothing and them strut huh? them strut and fret them little hour on the stage Strutting and fretting their little hour on the stage. And yet when Queen Africa participate in a more meaningful way, stir and rouse the people them in a some positive way, then pull the plug panel. Anyway, it's a puppy show. With Portia Simpson Mill and the Governor General clapping in time to the marching, to the to the little Stupid marching with them, no, them teach you them properly. And no, them teach you them to march properly. Sometimes when you say they so let them on the police, they so let them look better. But the police look as stupid as um, the youth them with them with them with them on train out there yesterday. Most times the police are march. Them look as stupid as the, the, the untrained youth that them put out yesterday. You can't march properly. Same like you can't march in cohesion and properly. Same way nothing what you're teaching them. You're not teaching them properly. You can't teach them because you don't know, you don't mean it. You don't feel that you don't mean it. You don't want a parade out there. A parade you want. A parade. A pantomime. And the Prime Minister and the Governor General clapping in time to the march. And all that they must rehearse, you know. Because you know them rehearse everything. Them marching, they look more like some Byron Lee session. Where they must sing skia, skia, skia and demonstrate some little uptown skia step where Downtown people and the makers of scan a dance them way there. Some look up Byron Lee a throw your hand in the air and go on like you throw her up in the air and a flash your hand up and down. Some running as well. I must say not running as well. I train them you they teach. Running as well and Tony Verity. Must have trained them the youth of marches. So you turn the youth them in a poppy show. Like what you are a poppy show. They're mad and sick. And it's no good. How back what them people can get? Well, a policeman instituted the part of tax, departure tax for a man, a leave a cambio, a leave a remittance agency. Man, a leave the remittance agency with a whole pound of money. The police see that and when go up and say, yeah, hear me now, I want 15,000 now. Out of the money where you get. If you get, give me 15,000, I'll lock you up. Well, eventually the man gave him $10,000 and set up a sting for him and them lock him up and, and um, what I see him with the government stay? Instituting a departure tax. You have depart Jamaica have a pay tax. You have depart from the remittance agents where you get some money from your family. Even if you get money from scamming, they might put a departure tax on it. Well, observe Bunting being set up as a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Hoover, you know Hoover the 
was when I was a youth. I don't know what is the current brands now. Hoover was the top brand of vacuum cleaner. At the time vacuum cleaner them there Jamaica now. Most about ten or fifteen people in Jamaica have vacuum cleaner. But in America there's a vacuum cleaner for me now. Before the war them and all of me. But the first um the FBI, when the FBI set up, you know, them set up a like a 26 year old youth named J. Edgar Hoover to head the FBI, right from the earliest. And for over 50 years, he was head of the FBI, you know, from the 1920s right up till the 1970s. Over 50 years, one man ahead the top investigation agents in America. But the main task and the main project, the first major project of the FBI, you know, was to discredit the civil rights movement. Search out and follow and spy upon the civil rights movement and overturn it because the civil rights movement was the biggest threat. The biggest threat to America in the 20th century you know, was the civil rights movement where the black people rise up and demand them rights now. Because them go out war, go fight and help keep America free and when them come home from war, you know, and give them no rights. You hang them like some little servant after them done fight and free and keep America free. So them set up the FBI. Mainly for spy upon the the political activities of the black people and overturn it and discredit what them do them set, them set up and spy upon especially the leaders you know and find out some like a nasty detail about them and put them a prisoner blackmail them say boy you're there with a woman and me go tell your wife and them blackmail all down to Kennedy and Martin Luther King find Martin Luther King and play with play with play with some woman meanwhile I'm a pastor that is what the activities of the FBI so Jamaica now Bunting say I'm a set up a FBI in a Jamaica I believe him too I believe him too, because the major project is to discredit the civil rights army. Just like how the civil rights army in America was being discredited by the FBI. I them see him one taking Marcus Garvey and put him in prison. Let's go for a break, straight up. Yes, possibilities are great, you know. Uh, possibilities are great. And, um, you know, it was, it is possible. It is possible for the political culture, the general political culture in Jamaica, mostly in the custody of the PNP and JLP. It is possible for the political culture for either gradually or suddenly come around to a position where why them decide, say, them now nah just been a tool and a foreign government and a foreign businessman again and them really start working at the interests of the Jamaican people you now. But is it likely? It is possible you now. Nothing that impossible. Anything I talk, man, I talk it to hurt nobody, I curse nobody. As I tell you, none of them ever do nothing personally for hurt me, you know. I don't know of it. Some problem do, but I don't know. I do have nothing against none of them personally. Because I don't have, no, have none of them I do anything against me. So it's not me not talk against nobody because anybody do me nothing. Me I talk against what them are going with because I know they are puppets of Babylon. Puppets of Babylon. Not nothing personal them do me nothing. None, none of them. Me know, no, me know, me know them do things, you know, but I don't know of nothing with them do me personal. So I want my talk, no motivated by no personal feel, no, no vendetta, I try to get back at nobody. I know that they are tools of Babylon, they are content to just serve in a Babylon. But from where you know, somehow from where you we know, say Babylon is responsible for our disinheritance and us being down here in Jamaica, disinherited and fooling around. And from that time, we have the ideal, so we're going to regain our independence and our prosperity independent from babylon and because that we determine from where you'd say we're not about to babylon and are playing a part in babylon and babylon can't stop us from prosper can't stop us from prosper from where you to decide that some monks we after a while relent and say boy you can't you, you can't beat babylon now you have to just go in a babylon and try to see if you can change babylon plenty of plenty of you know male and female leave out of the leave out of the movement of the african people and say, Chubb, why it's too difficult? You know, better go in there and see if we can do something from in there, you know. So plenty give up and go in a Babylon and go play a part. But we, not of we determine from where you say, so we will not bow to Babylon and Babylon can't stop we. Cannot stop us. We know that. Some bow and some get weak. So we don't hate them in a but uh, We have to make it clear. We have to make it clear that they are misguided and misled and they're weak. Weak. We don't cause people to be being weak, you know. But we are cursed the weakness for them satisfied with. We are not satisfied with our weakness. So now, most of what them do, them do it for them personal enhancement. So even when you see them are set up national FBI and agents of fight, fight corruption, all those things are desirable and if it works, it's great. But most of the time, they set up these things for them personal progress. Setting it up to set up themselves that if it works now, they become bigger and stronger personally. 
So they are driven mostly by personal ambition. Mostly. So now, just like how a J. Edgar Hoover and the America did set up the FBI to specially watch the civil rights movement of the black people, starting with the UNIA and Marcus Garvey and going right through the century. It's the same apparatus that was assembled on Michael Manley and M.G. Smith that led to Green Bay and beyond. It's the same apparatus and same kind of apparatus that was set up now. Bunting and Dera one them. Bunting and Dera one have set up the same kind of apparatus that was set up under Michael Manley and M.G. Smith, the professor of anthropology, who was a special branch organizer and a, an a intelligence agent of Britain in mother country. And come down here and set up the MIU and set up Green Bay as if this kingdom cleaned up Jamaica. But it's really them enemy, them are spy and are a plan to capture them enemy. So they will have it as a new power base now. Because Bunting do have much prospect now of succeeding Portia Miller as Prime Minister. You know? So they have to set up a power base differently that will make him vital to anybody else who come in afterward. So Paul will can't do without him. So they become a partnership. Pete, SS Pete and Paul. I don't talk sense Pete and Paul, not different kind of SS. So now, this apparatus where they must set up will give the security forces and the security minister and official new political power. Yes, this security apparatus where they must set up will give the security forces new political power. But they're not supposed to have no political power. No. So security forces not have no political power. No. But this will give them new political power link with the security minister and security officials. They will become a political power unto themselves. That is how you make up a police state, you know. You give the security forces political power and you can, you can wheel and deal and bargain politically. The security forces now play a part in the power balance in a country instead of just being servant of the rich and servant of the politically strong. Them themselves become a power base. And the security minister, the minister of police and the security official them is a little base unto themselves. And give them political equipment and ammunition. And even inside of them own party, give them political equipment and ammunition. Can wheel and deal. The high command of the police force and all security authorities will become more politicized. That is what they're working towards. Say so them going to have a police and an army unit that going to fight against corruption. What them gathering is a political force. And they will be more politicized. And the choosing of the personnel and all them things will be more politicized under the political directorship. And then now, that one will become the czar. The czar where you hear Trevor Monroe I recommend a couple of years now. So they should, all anti-corruption forces should join under one agency. And have a czar over it. You know what czar is? Czar was the ruler of Russia. You know? The ruler of Russia. The emperor of Russia. It's the same Caesar. I told you from the other day. Czar and Caesar is the same thing. Czar is the spelling in Russian. C-S-A-R. Different from C-E-A-S-A-R. Czar. It means a top official will control all things completely. Czar. So this is the czar or the little seize of all corruption re re regulation that Monroe being advocating. Your Monroe talk like him against him, but as long as them follow him advice, him will be like a M.G. Smith too. Just like a M.G. Smith in that time, where they advised Michael Manley how to set up the MIU and how to set up an intelligence agency that spy on all Jamaicans and that is able to set up all kind of conspiracy theory and frame people so they out to overthrow government. And you will be able to kill them off. So they might try to overthrow government. So any successor to Portia Simpson Miller will have a bargain with Bunting. You know that. Him can't turn Prime Minister after she. Him do have the political base and the popularity. He do have the trust of the Jamaican people. The Jamaican people don't like him. But at least him will have a political base that any successor to Portia Simpson Miller have to go bargain with him. If him can't be Prime Minister, him can establish himself as a Caesar or Caesar wife. If Paul will, will have him. Paul himself is a Hitler in the making, you know. Down to the moustache where you see him up, the Hitler moustache him up, or moustache or upper pubic hair. Could call it moustache or could call it upper pubic hair. So SS Peter and Paul, and I St. Peter and Paul church like we don't have Oprah, you know. Or the SS mostly. Well, they are not St. Peter and Paul, you know. The accent is on another SS, especially since there is another Paul in the new Linstall, general of the PNP. Paul, you know Paul Burke, or the general of the PNP that for a long time about him newly get. 
recently they get the title fully. So you have a general staff of three P's, three top general, three P's, or a trinity, to secure Jamaica for the PNP triumvirate. You know triumvirate? Three men are ruled together, triumvirate, instead of one dictator. But we're not afraid of them still now. We're not afraid of them at all. We are confident of the victory of good over evil. All of them are plan is to set up themselves and secure themselves. Not to secure Jamaica. But it is a good idea to secure anywhere you are. You know. To secure anywhere you are and guarantee the security of people that live in a, in, a, um, in a certain territory or a state or a country or a nation or an island. It's a good idea. But you know how far we can trust them. You know how far we can trust them. The security is supposed to be based on the unity of the communities and the Jamaican people. Security must be based on the people, not on a like a political plot when a this guy have to turn Jamaica into a police state. We're going to see. Make us see. Make us see if you can triumph over we the people. Let us see. Well then, we have any text message there? We'd love to get some phone call. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Morning, Jerry. Welcome, sir. I, I, I take a different reading from you. Yeah. From where you just start uh, both, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't see Bunting uh, set up nothing, you know. Mm. I, see, I see Bunting better watch it. I see something uh, set up for Bunting. Yeah. And him better watch it. Yes. And uh, 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 St. Paul where you talk about. Look here. Them got to go, you know. They all got to go. They got to go because you, you see St. Paul and all this energy thing. Mm. I keep I tell people, listen to the IDB representative, you know, a lady. Yeah. Where she said, we have experts from procurement and all these things. Why don't they ask us? Yeah. You see, Peter Bunting, you him sound business like. The 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 other day, and for me, na last year in ball out, but oh, bigger us a go go on in a January and what have you, and it have to push back till we are done in a July. You you you, you think them in a him? Are the are the whip crap? Yes, you see him. You like how commissioner sanitizer had to go. Yeah. Minister neutralizer have to go. Yeah, but um, swapping black dog and monkey and them with it is not much of a, of a game. Now, tell you, say, once your alternative is restricted to the you, the two usual suspects, uh, not debating out these little things, to me, is not the most um, fruitful thing. Now. My, my most, um, my most uppermost agenda is that people must understand all the machinations and things that... Well, skip. well, 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 People, the ordinary people must understand all of the schemings and machinations that go on in the world, in the political world, the economic world, the security world, and all of the different world. Rather than us choosing which economic policy is the best and which individual is the best for this job, that and general. My main responsibility, and, and, and thousands of us main responsibility, is getting Ordinary people to understand all the tricks in trade and things where guys are going with and gear up yourself for self-government in your personal self, in your community, in your family. Because us debating which little policy and which little measure is the right one is not going to really help us get our life under control. No, well, me not focus on that. Let, 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 let's go for a break. Let's go for a break. Yes, welcome back. Yes, sir. Got it. Yeah, what? I want to say two things. We have a minute. You know, I said Tuesday evening, I call Lambert Brown, and this is to my green shirt friend then. Yeah. I call Lamy and say, if I was the opposition, where I would I do? Him answer was, him think me was that. Oh, yeah. See? And what? I want to make people know, say, you talk about focus a while ago. My focus is from black people, you know. Yeah. But a lot of black people now focus. One time I enter politics. Yeah, 
I did have both an orange shirt opponent and a green shirt opponent. Yes. So I want people to remember that. I'm glad you mentioned that. You hear me now? Yes. I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, say so you have a special responsibility. Having um, put yourself forward as a candidate at the PPP, the success of the Marcus Garvey Party, you have a special responsibility to vet what is going on in the PPP and the UNI, you know, you know. You know that? Yeah. You are specially qualified to do so, you know. You got it. Special I am doing yeah. so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You saw, well, you, 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 you were able to, to take in the, the independence um, girl at the stadium. So am I. So am I. Yeah. I don't want, I'm not ridiculing any individual or any character or any personality. But they orchestrated a whole poppy show there yesterday. And they got a lot of nationally well known and respected figures acting out some little bit parts there. As a mockery of what the Garvey movement, all people like all, um, what's name, um, Golden, Steve Golden and the lady present, her name, um, Miss Dixon from the country. I'm very in Shepherd and I mean a Blackwood Mix and um, some of the other people them have there hacking out some little bit part. It was like a, a puppy show because they are not about, I don't mean the people involved in you know, it, the individuals. The government is not about enhancing and promoting the garbage. I mean, them just use these little people for, for, for um, sanitize themselves like how they appointed Trevor McMillan as commissioner because the government of PJ Patterson was in trouble in 1993, one year after him took over the government from Michael Mann. It was in so much trouble. They had to draw for Colonel Trevor McMillan to make the government look like it's responsible. He was the main, he was the main cosmetic that them um, put there now, even though him himself was not a cosmetic person. So, so yeah, it is that them but, used But the this is encouraging the people too, because somebody has fooled them up now about road is gift. Give, yeah, imagine. And, and people sincerely believe that. It is an insult. It's an insult and it and it's, a, it's pathetic to know that people believe that. And that's why they are considering themselves successful politicians because they are successfully trick, full of trickery, trickery. And most people believe in it and showing gratitude towards Portia Simpson Miller. Yeah, uh, well, on, well, hold on, 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 hold on. Showing gratitude to Portia Simpson Miller and P.J. Patterson Omar Davis. Showing mm. gratitude to them, to so them give them. them and all them just a come with. And these three individuals they are impertinent. Impertinent. Thank you very much, Gan. Give thanks. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yo. Yes, sir. Yes, Glenn. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yeah. Make each other on, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, good life, you know? Yeah, well done. With my good budget, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. But this man and me, you play a tune, I'm going to take me there and stand up here star, I tell you. <laughs> yes, sir. You, you are. You are. Life is stand up hill, yes, sir. Yeah. You know, the one thing we can tell you, though, it. It is good, you know? Yes, it is. The transition, the, the transition, when going cause, when cause the cause pain, you know? Yes, yes, yes. But, but, but even birth, the birth of a child cause some labor pain. Yeah. But, make if you know, a loot, I can't, you know, you know? Yes, man. I keep on the work, cause the work, look, the work just starts, you know what I mean? Yes, it will, well, it will start. Just start, my brother. It will start, it will start. Yeah, so, Becky just... <laughs> right in nine months, him, him step, you know? Yeah, in the Zion, you know what I mean? Nine months, well. Yeah. And I'm, six, and I'm 66 year. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm have the same birthday as Fidel Castro, you know, 13th August. I think it's you the same. Say, you know? I think so. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's both. Yeah, I think it's both them time there. All right. Well, I think Fidel is either the thirteenth or the sixteenth, but I think it's the thirteenth. I, I think it's uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think it's the thirteenth. Yeah, mm. I think so. But a good soldier, you know. Thank you very much for that. Good soldier, Benjamin. Yeah, yeah. So we're not gonna let him down, you know. No. A lot of continue. Yes, sir. With all our imperfections, we yeah, are man. in the process of overcoming. Of course, and it's good over evil, you know. Yeah, man. Good over you, Bridget. Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir? Love, yeah? Why not? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, Mr. Fox? Those, those bunk beds. How tall a bunk bed is there? Them very, man. Them very. The, anyone, any of them over six feet? Yeah, man. You have bunk bed over six foot. But most, most, most of them that I know, they are about, you know, five foot. The top bunk is three bunk. So, I used to have bunk bed for my youth. And I think the top bunk was a little under. Five feet, you know, three, so three, three levels. 
to our tree level, yeah. So is there any possibility that a man could have dropped off a bunk bed and get all that damage? From, as, as, as who, as who? L like the man that the police claim dropped off for his bunk bed. Yeah, man. After he was beaten to a pulp. I tell you. And die in hospital. Hmm? I tell you. And it's, it's, it's two different stories they put out. Because it's in the, the cleaner this morning, they put out two different stories. And this is happening. A few months ago, the madman. Yeah. Know this man. And before them, plenty, plenty more. It is their the practice. Look at them practice. It the is one them who practice. The Garden. Yeah. Hmm? No. This kid. Well, no. It makes sense, I said, man. Because it continue all the while. No, listen here, no. Listen here. If every day I come here and I chat in the same thing, and if every day you come here and you phone in and complain about the same thing, it's not going to lead to nothing. What you are bound to do is make a living so that you can keep your body alive. And in your spare time, you get together with other people. And you make some good plan and good effort to change these things. Practical effort to change these things. Without fear. Without fear. Because praying is not going to change it. And appealing to these people is not going to change it. Only one thing going to change it. Is to we the people get together and make some plans and carry out the plans. And also, the infiltration of your company. You must make it costly. So Babylon try to infiltrate your company, whether it's a business or it's a company where you and your brethren and sister sitting down and making plans, and them infiltrate it and come in there as a fifth column and spy, we must make it very expensive to anyone who try to do that. And detect them. We must practice the skills of detection, of infiltration, and study them and study our situation and draft in new information into your studies and change your plans accordingly and carry out the plans. We can't, well, before, we can't be just be phoning one another and complain every day, you know. Well, well let's hope there, 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 there was a camera inside the police station that, that in the company can work up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's hope. And we have to have our own in the com. You know that? Mm hmm I ask if you know that. Well, you can. We have, have to have... We, you know, can. I say we have to have our own in the com. Yes, we do. Because in the com, what Babylon set up, I respect them. But mm. they are being hampered and hampered so much. The people have to have their money to come to. Mm. And be fearless of Babylon. Yes, they do. Thank you very much, Mr. Fox. Okay. Good, miss, good morning and welcome to the street. Morning, brother Jerry. Welcome, sir. What's going on? Well, as a lot of this combination of the, 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 the forces, the farm, what I'm called, the Jamaican FBI. Yes, yes. You know, it, 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 as I well said, Mr. Edgar Hoover, there, you know. Yes. It was, it was a very smart man, you know, yes, because yes. back in them days, you know, a whole heap of president tried to get rid of him, you know. Yes, yes, and him get... But he make sure of dirt on them. Mob information on the whole of them, Yes, yeah. man, so you find to know, you know, this avenue of Jamaica, you know, trying to emulate something like that. Yeah. That going to be the same, you understand what I'm saying, it, 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 it is a recipe for the same, because even the same FBI, you know. Yeah. Them in charge of espionage and within themselves and all of that. Even inside themselves? Yeah, man, and most put, put persons it. who break away out of the faction after them dead are seen, the poor people, them when them have got through and say, no, man, a foolishness this and want to say something, and them either get rid of them or kill them. Or yeah, them. man, so, you know, say, Bunting supposed to have information from Paul, well. Of a, course. All them rival them. So, yeah, I, saw, I saw them bargaining with one another, you know. And then yeah, uh, them have a little series come up on the TV named Scandal about this kind of thing in America. Oh, you know? yes, yes, yes. Yes, although it's showing it makeup, it is very useful to watch it. And, um, yeah, man, I watch it every night, but, man, nine o'clock. But you don't, watch, you don't follow it like gospel still, you know? No, man, no, yeah. man. We, 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 we understand. Because even with the current thing now, yeah. Edward Snowden. Yes. That's a big example, you know, Jerry. True, Joe. And I hear Russia game three year residency yes. in other country. Yes. I worry about things. But well, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Yes, I will have to go with yeah, 10 in my name. Straight. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. I'm here with Jerry Small. Now, strange as it may sound, I tell you, we don't have no hard feelings against no one at all. But we will fight for our right. And not only will, you know, we are fighting for our right and we're not going to stop no hard feelings against anyone no ill will towards anyone 
even towards those who <coughs> obstruct and offend us, no hard feeling, no ill will. It sounds strange. What is true? But whether you believe it or not, the work goes on. Straight up. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Jensen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we're independent girl last night. I didn't like it at all. Why? I'm not a basher, but the truth is not the truth. Yeah. I didn't like it. Look here now. Mm -hmm. Mo move away from your radar, little please. Okay. That we can get to um, concentrate, girl. I'm not. Yes, uh, I didn't like it at all. Yeah. What about it? Maybe you mean. It never seems, you know, the only part I like is just the music with my friend and sister and Freddie McGregor. Yeah. But listen, back then when that video used to be, I'm not quite a bit political, but the truth is the truth. Yeah. I used to enjoy it better when she was the Minister of Culture. When yeah. she was? But it's not about that time, it's about what was presented. That's true. Yeah, so but tell I me, mean, no, tell me, no, hold on, listen, no, listen, 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 I don't want you... Tell me who have a better understanding. Tell me what you saw those times. Yes, I never liked the arrangement. Too no, much. don't tell me what you never liked last night. Tell me when, at a certain other time when you did like the arrangement, what it was that you did like. Yes, she put more musical to me. No, you're, you're concentrating on she. Now. Listen here. You are, hello, you are concentrating on she. She, she. And no, we are, and, listen, and we are not concentrating on no she versus no she. I'm yes. not concentrating on no Babs the Grange, nor no Lisa Anna. I'm concentrating on what took place on those occasions that you did like. Because I'm not for the she versus the she. Yes. I like the musical part of the artist. No, the, the other times, what you did like, outside of the music, what you did like? The musical part of the, the artist, the vintage artist. All right, apart from the music, apart from the music, what about those independence gala that you did like? Apart from the music. Yes, I like, they really, really, really like, you know, you still like the drumming and... So you're going you back know, to music again, just music, music, music. Not right. really music, but it's both your own music and dancing and, you know. So you, your, your, your experiences at the Independence Gala is main, 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 mainly based on music and dancing? Not really. But you are quite right, but, but you are quite right. Yes. You are quite right. It's mostly a song and dance. Yeah. An independence celebration supposed to be more than that. Independence celebration yeah. supposed to be out the, about the fight for independence. That yeah. is what real independence celebration is about. The fight for independence and the fight to keep independent. That is what real independence celebration is about. Not song and dance. Yeah. Piece, yes, but I sorry for dominate. I sorry for dominate that time. Look more. I'm going to get the next minute for you. Go and talk. But I mean, yes, I didn't, you know, I was really bored and, you know, this, I was really the car and the girls, you know. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you know, they were depicting Marcus Garvey and the 100 years of the UNIA. What impression it gave you of Marcus Garvey work? What you saw in the field years of that? What impression it gave you of Marcus Garvey work? It didn't give me anything. It didn't give me anything. Because it didn't give me anything. Yeah. It didn't give me anything, really. Thank you very much, dear ma'am. You are so accurate. Okay. You, are, you are so accurate. But we are not in a the she versus she com comparison still too much now. It's not a she versus she or a Babs versus Lisa. But yet it's them reduce it to that. But good morning and welcome to Straight Up, you know? Good morning. Morning, welcome. Yes, man. You are going, sir? Me and you, you know, we're enjoying the, 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 the cooling down at the time. A true man, the real nice man. Yes, nice, very nice. Yeah, man. Um... The other day, when I spoke to you about, we had some in a drought situation and people were lighting fire. And listening to your replay at the night, the day, the day, that night, for then, yeah. I realized that sometimes when a man make a sentence and want to make another sentence, the, the, the time cut off and uh, people may get the full, they, they may not get the full understanding of what the person was saying. Sure. Because I to you and that people who light fire should not they should not lack up the person yeah and all I hear on the on the replay was just that and yeah. what, what, what I was about to say but then cut me off I hope, I hope um yes but why not I, 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 I hope say. you weren't cut off deliberately yes I was about to say since seeing that the people them are lighting the fire and, and burning on the place yeah instead of putting them to jail Teach them how to, in other words, the man who 
you put him in prison, give him half a mile of road side to weed up. And that is his penalty, a uh, mile of road side, make him weed up the grass with the machete. Yeah. Because uh, that's what happened, you know. They don't want to weed up the place with the machete. So, they want to light the bush. So hear this now. Mm-hmm. You know that lighting fire can lead and usually lead to millions of dollars mm-hmm. worth of damage exactly. and, and some life. Exactly. And usually the damage that is done is not done to the piece of land of the person who light the fire. It's right. u- usually when it's spread to other people's place. Exactly. So how do you discourage the light? We're not talking about punish now. How you discourage the careless light in our fire? How you discourage it? Tell me. By, by, uh, I, well, I'm not talking about the punishment either. Make the man go and read up. No, uh, we're, not talk about, we're not talking about after somebody do it. Mm. You discourage people before they do it. Uh, right. Discouragement is a, pre- a preventive action. You, do, right. it, you do it before. Right. Yeah. All right. What you do? You can also, like in some, yeah, other people have, uh, have a sort of machine, what you call it, um, chipper and shredder. Yeah. You, 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 after you cut on the bush, you, you put in a machine. And it I'm, not talking about what the in, I'm not talking about what the individual must do, you know. What the community must do to discourage people from carelessly lighting fire and causing millions of dollars damage to other people's property. What does the community do? Well, you, you can, you, you can um, help the man by, by showing him not to do it and show him other way what he can do because... No, that is not discouragement. You know, that is not discouragement. Well, I'm telling you to. Listen to this one moment. Yeah. Even when you light up the ground, you light up the bush, yeah. what the result of, of lighting and burning some of the... Burn up some of the worms and things in the bush where they yeah. get the soil properly. It, yeah. it, it, the soil don't get poor, poor, poor. All right, you're talking about the soil, and we're not paying attention to the discouragement. I'm going to tell you this now. Yeah, go on, tell human me. beings living together, whether them get on well or not, but human beings living together, they're often living in the same house. But they're using the same road, they're using the same bank, they're using the same water supply, so they are living together. Yes. Human beings living together is a social situation. You have to have measures to encourage good and discourage bad and those measures have to be firm have to be firm so thank you very thank, so thank can you name one of the measures one of the measures yes. you have a penalty for doing such things penalty severe penalty so that's what i was saying no we can't go much further because other people listen call me back later i'm going to go further call me back later please please don't feel that way good morning and welcome to straight up hello Morning, welcome, straight up, hello. Hello. Yes, welcome, welcome. Mr. Small? Yes, sir, welcome. Good morning, sir. Oh, morning, morning. Um, Jerry, I don't think I have credit or even words to tell you this morning what you are teaching me and other people in Jamaica. And Jerry, let me tell you something. I heard you said something a couple of months ago that people must do something or create something out of what you are bringing to them in this country. Yeah. You, and I several times I heard you tell people that we are not just to keep talking about this and that we are to do something. Yeah. We are to come together in many ways. I, I hear you tell people these things. Uh, and believe you me, there is no one whatever part of this. I want to be one of the first persons who to even put my life on the line to do something out of the information and the teaching that you have been giving us over these years and months. I want to ask you, Mr. Small, if I can come to News Talk anytime you can, if you can give me a time where I'd like to present some documents to you, I'd like to present a proposal to you, I'd like to ask your help, Mr. Small, in helping me to be one of the first person to go out on the road or to bring some visions that I have. I have even discussions done with people in my community. I have my thing well set up. Mr. Small, all I need is your participation. Well, I'm begging you this. All right, here is now. What part of Jamaica you are? Don't tell me this. Part. I am living in Kasha Park. Mr. Small. All right, good. Well, here is now. Don't hang up. When, leave your number there. Don't hang up because I want somebody to take your number. Yes, Mr. Small. But well, thank you very much, and um, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yes, Jerry, yes. and keep on doing the good work you are doing, my brother. Keep yes, on I will, good work. Yeah, we're going to try to diminish all bad work. Try to do okay. more good work and less bad work. Thank you very much. Yes, we're going to, we have a couple more callers, and we have our guests coming on soon. Um, yes, we have um, Professor Faye Durant on the phone, head of the Department of Library Studies at the University of West Indies. And she introduced me to um, 
the church's emancipation lecture, the church's emancipation lecture has been going on. She'll tell us more about it. But this year, <clears throat> it was, um, they invited somebody as usual to give a lecture. This year it was Mr. Earl Jarrett, general manager of the Jamaica National Building Society. <clears throat> And he gave an emancipation lecture on the lesson and the legacy of development of business enterprises after slavery. Can you imagine how important that is? Business enterprises after slavery, people, our people started to get more opportunity to, do, to develop business enterprises after slavery. Some of our people had started business enterprises even before the end of slavery because a lot of our ladies was planting food and selling food and sat the market even during slavery. So we have Mrs. Professor Faye Durant here now to discuss um, the, this year's emancipation lesson and lecture from the church's emancipation lecture. Good morning, Professor Durant. Good morning, Mr. Terry Small. How are you? Uh, welcome, ma'am, and thank you very much for having informed me about this lecture, even though I never get to go myself, but thank uh. you very much. Yes, just a little correction. I'm no longer head of the Department of Library and Information Studies. Yes. I have retired. Yes, I, I thought I remember that. But, you um, recall, yeah, yes. But, but my, my producer <laughs> did not, um, did not um, re, you know, realize this. Just for the record, the head is Dr. Paulette Carr. Okay, yes, yes. And I, I think I met her through you, I did. I, I, I'm, I'm sure you did. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> but... Um, the church is um, emancipation lecture. Is, is it a group of churches or one of the denominations that sponsored this? It is a group of churches yeah. that came together yeah. some 20 little bit years ago. Yes. And uh, it happens that this, for this current one, it's churches from the Baptist denomination yeah. and the United Church denomination. But of course it is open to other churches yeah. and in some years we have other have had other participants. Yes. Um, and in addition we had the United Theological College of the West Indies yes. as a participant in this. What is the previous name of the United Church again? It's three churches, but the main one is Pres one is Presbyterian, right? Uh huh. Congregational. Yeah. And the Christian Disciples of Christ Christian Church. Yes. I know um, it's quite significant to me because <clears throat> the Baptist Church was one of the churches that served the enslaved people very well. Exactly. And 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 after emancipation, facilitated the the the, the formerly enslaved people to acquire land. Yes, and to develop free villages. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so it is um, fitting that the church, this this Baptist Church, is one of those that sponsored this whole lecture. Now the lecture was given where. At the Hope United Church. At on Hope Road. Old Hope Road, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, up on the top of Old Hope Road, yeah. Exactly. And was it well received and attended? It was well received. We had a number of people who came from various churches and people from the community as well. We invited people from government and from the churches, education, and so on. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Mr. Mr. Earl Jarrett is the, the general manager of Jamaica National Building Society, which had it, which has its main origins in the Westmoreland Building Society. That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the Westmoreland Building Society, I think it was either established with the help of our by a Reverend Clark who who came here in the 1800s. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And I think. I think uh, Reverend Clark helped to establish something which was model of a, a previous Jamaican institution, the institution of throwing partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people yeah, because this was concert. These were investments from the members. Yes. Mm -hmm. People throw partners so that they save up a lot of money between the ten people, and mm -hmm. every every week one of the people get that lump sum. Get that mm -hmm. lump sum of money, can do some business with. Then the next yeah. week you get till it go right round. It's our he help of farmer saving. Exactly. So yeah. this principle was applied now to building a house because after slavery, the 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 the, the newly freed Africans never have no land or no house, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they had to help one another build houses. Right. So just yeah. like how we help one another through a partner, so we so we build. We ten hours come together and build your house. Mm -hmm. Then next week you build my house. Then next week me and you build a third person house. Till everybody have house, and you take time pay back the money. Exactly. Do and you that know? That was the principle on which the building societies 
operated as well in terms of providing funding. Members would const would continually be saving and therefore they would accumulate funds which could be lent to members as they may have needed it. Yes. Do you know of building societies in existence anywhere in the world before Jamaica? No. Well, certainly they don't go by that name. It's a very unique Jamaican activity. And as you mentioned, the fact that it was related to the church, uh, Mr. Jarrett mentioned that, you know, the Jamaica National was actually in its first incarnation started in a church vestry. A church vestry, yes. That's right. Uh -huh. And a lot of them, um, not only the Africans, as far as I know, but also Indians who came here on a on a immigrant on a migration scheme, a kind mm -hmm. of a kind mm -hmm. of farm work scheme. Yes. They came here on a scheme that was similar to Pardon and Building Society. Exactly. They came here in groups from India, from China, mm -hmm. on a planned um, excursion to Jamaica to work. And then when the five years of work finished, you get a lump sum of money, so that's a form of savings. Right. And some went back, but of course, as we know, many stayed. And yeah, because the deal was then, you get a lump sum of money to start out in life, you get a ticket back to India or to China. Them time never have plane, but you get in this time, you get a plane ticket back mm -hmm, to India and China. Mm -hmm. If you don't want the plane ticket back to India and China, you get a piece of land in Jamaica right. so that you can do something with a lump sum of money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What I find beautiful about the Indians and Chinese getting this deal is that it helps the Africans to understand that they are due to get a ticket back to Africa plus a lump sum of money. And if you don't want the ticket back to Africa, you're supposed to get a piece of land like the Indian and Chinese. Okay, okay. That's why I love it. I love the Indian and Chinese because them show that it is possible and it is overdue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, um, as you know, Mrs. Dion, what part did you grow up in? Uh, Kingston, but uh, born in St. Anne. Yes, beautiful. Mm -hmm. like my, my family have half of the roots in St. Anne, too, in Jamaica. In yes. Jamaica. But uh, I, for, to my memory, every parish in Jamaica had some form of building society. Absolutely, absolutely. Some have converted, but certainly at the beginning, this was the main source of capital, because Mr. Jarrett mentioned land, labor, and capital as the three foundations of business yes, and yes. in terms of capital yes. this was the way that many people were able to develop their enterprises yes so that's the main form of capital the mm -hmm. most the most accessible form of capital right is land title mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a lot of people in jamaica who have land don't get to capitalize on the land because they don't have any title right because that is the legal part to show that you are in fact the owner of the particular piece of ground. So it is, that is why it is so great when it's even the government helping people to get them title. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because most landowners in Jamaica do not have them title. Most families, most land is family land. I don't know about most, but I take your point. <laughs> I, I have heard, I have heard that most, yeah. I have heard that most landowners in Jamaica don't have them own title, but you know. Mm -hmm. But um, as I said, it's... This but it's, it's worth researching as to yes, what yes, percentage yes. do and what don't. <laughs> but now, after many years, the Westmoreland Building Society... We're just going to spend a little time on this before we go into, sure. the, into the lecture. The Westmoreland Building Society was so successful, partly because a lot of the Indians settled in Westmoreland mm -hmm. and joined these building societies. And even those that did not join went to some responsible or trustworthy person like Reverend Clark right, and, ga them. Yes, mm -hmm. and gave Reverend Clark their land title to borrow a little money for a short period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of the Indians who got land. Right, a lot right. of them were not able to redeem the land title. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Clark and other people ended up with some land, some extra land, little by little. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the building, Westmoreland Building Society was so um successful that it it swallowed up some of the other parish building societies that's, yes, how, that's how it yes. turned from westmoreland now to jamaica national because it's bigger than westmoreland now clearly yes not only that it's bigger than jamaica but that's yes because also. yes because mm -hmm. even, the, even the people outside jamaica it um encouraging them to invest in the, in, in right, that's, right that's great 
And the last thing, uh, my, uh, what I, how I got to know more about it, because when my old man settled in Hanover, they invited him as a retired judge now to become manager of the Hanover Building Society. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that was the last one that held out for a long time. Because yes, uh -huh. My old man and PJ, Patterson's elder brother, mm -hmm. and a few more old timers held out and got, kept the Hanover one independent for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But eventually, um, it joined. It right. joined. So, yeah, either Victoria Mutual mm -hmm. or Jamaica National right. holding the bulk of that original peasantry and poor people building mm -hmm. building scheme. That's great. So now Mrs. Durant, um, I understand that um Mr. Jarrett started demonstrating the, the Jewish migrants to Jamaica. Well he recognized them in terms of their time of arrival and what influenced their ability to enter business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they had a long tradition even before coming to Jamaica. Exactly. Of grouping up and of um, providing them one another with loans and guarantees. Right, and shared ownership and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as they said, they, 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 um, they, the lecture was well attended. Oh yes, yes. There was a lot of interest both in the historical part and of course how things have developed because he went also into the direction of the logistic hub and how that is also going likely to influence the way businesses can develop yes. in the future. Mm -hmm. So and that's why, you know, after I wasn't able to attend the lecture, one thing I asked if, if you could give me a copy of the booklet that's short, right. because th these are things that will last for a long time and um, it's a very valuable reading source. And they are on sale at the United Church. Oh yes? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go for a break and we'll come back to talk about the lecture. Uh -huh. Straight up. Yeah, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm talking to my guest today, Professor Faye Durant, retired um, head of the library. The, li the, the library uh, and information studies. Yeah, department. library and infor information <laughs> studies department at the University of the West Indies. And she's um, giving us an account of um, the church's the church's emancipation lecture. And the, this year's lecture was um, Honorable Earl Jarrett, and he is the general manager of Jamaica National Building Society. Now, um, Mr. Jarrett started out with quoting Garvey, mm -hmm. who himself was a business um, e exemplar, exemplar. Right, right. I, I, he recognized the role and value of business yes. to the development of black people throughout the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in turn, Mr. Jared recognized the role of Garvey as a cheerleader. Exactly. To cheer up people mm -hmm. and encourage them to, to right. enter into business, yes. even if they never had any experience before. Right, right. So he started out the lecture that way. And um, then now... I regard this as practical churchmanism because a churchman and churchman in corporate churchman and churchwoman is people who practically pra who practice the teachings of the church which mm -hmm. is to look out for one another and encourage one another and, and ensure also the development of skills yes. that may be necessary. Yeah, equipment, equipping yourself with skills. Exactly. And, and ensure trading with one another if your church sister makes embroidery. You check with her at Christmas time before you're done buy a Christmas present. You check with her to see if there's anything you can spend out of your Christmas money buying embroidery from your church sister. Because you, you must encourage the economy between one another. Right, right. And um, then after that, now um, we we have the the financing because mm -hmm. as, as you said before. As I said before, the Jews who Mr. Jarrett used as the example of people who came here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and who um, entered into business, especially because they had a culture of business even before they reached Jamaica. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You remember anything else that he told us about that Jewish pioneering in business in Jamaica? Well, the fact that they were able to contribute both to the economic and the commercial life of the country. Yeah. That was a significant part of the setting the framework for the development of business. 
of course, there were also there was also the fact that the enslaved people set up their small market yes. and their informal or semi-formal trading and commerce. Yes. And also that there was the skill, even though it may not have been considered to be high-level skills, yes. but skills as artisans which enabled them to develop enterprises as well. Yes, sell them services. Exactly, exactly. Now, as you said, from in the 1700s, yeah, damn, enslaved people who are doing business, because they would get a little one day off. Right. And they would both plant food and that day, and they would sell back food at a Saturday market. Mm -hmm. And some of them were so successful that they bought the ultimate purchase. The highest purchase that anybody can do is to buy them own freedom. Some mm -hmm. of these slaves mm -hmm. got so prosperous that they bought themselves out of slavery. Right. In other words, them asked the slave master, how much of value me at? Mm -hmm. And the slave master said, boy, you're valuable now. I mean, I'll let you go for a little small money now. I want 80 pounds for you. Because you can still be your five children and you're good looking and you can cook and you can knit of too. Of course. And the woman save up and save up till she gives the slave master the 80 pounds and is now a free person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the ultimate investment somebody can make, you know. Right. Even though, of course, the transition wasn't so easy. No, it wasn't easy. Because there was the slave law and, I mean, you had... The Things that seem so impossible to us. There was the prohibition against keeping animals that one would normally use for agriculture and yes. trade and so on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because as you said a while ago, one of the struggles of Paul Bog that led to the Moran Bay demonstration is that um, after the abolition of slavery, this, the landowners tried to keep land out of the Africans, the right. blacks. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, one of Paul Bogle's fellow fellow St. Thomas people used to work for a property on a white man and the white man was so vexed when he saw the man save up and buy a donkey mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that him tell him said don't tie a donkey from a place when you come to work yes, yes. and the man was also a JP and a judge so when the man still tied the donkey as far as my memory go him not only charged him with it but was able to find and take away money from the man <laughs> for tying the donkey at the workplace, which was the white man place. Yes. So them tried to fight around in that way. So even though it's a difficult job to save up the money and buy your freedom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. obstacle along the way. So, you know, you know, redemption, which, which Jesus Christ did help to promise and help to, to, to fulfill. Redemption originates in, in the concept of slavery, you know, and, and going to jail, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because redemption is when somebody else come pay your money for you and make you free. You know, out, yes. Make you free. Mm -hmm. So the ultimate redemption, redemption was when Christ take out what he had, which was in blood, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and pay with him blood and say, anybody who who come my way, I I I, I will pay for them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so, so in relation to the emancipation, we could call that and the continuing development was the absence of adequate science and technology. Yes. Of course, as we know, the universities and the other agencies of government and even private enterprise yeah. have taken on that as some aspect of development to ensure yeah. that the science and technology can now be instilled and incorporated into the development process of business enterprises that we are seeing and observing develop. And yeah. of course, many people are now take more, taking more part yeah. in the development of these enterprises. Yes, yes. And I think the churches, similar to building societies, a lot of the churches um, engage in credit union organizing. Definitely. yes. That's our next, another great, a very great source Right. And have you new access in capital? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as you talk about, you know, teaching people new technologies and making new technologies available. Technology is a part of culture. Culture is not just singing opera or art. Exactly, exactly. It is developing the things that are required, the technologies and techniques that are required to improve people's ability to exist and to produce. You produce, produce wealth and produce um, prosperity. 
Exactly. And goods, exactly. goods and services. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, one of my greatest pleasures and one of my earliest pleasures in accessing goods and services, see, ma'am, is 1958, when me are nine year old. My father carried me go down a Tamred come up Avenue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go make me join the newly open li- yes, library. That was a glorious time indeed. <laughs> and that is a service, isn't it? The library is a service. Mm-hmm. It's like goods. Yes. And there's nothing more valuable that I could imagine than me being able to go to the library with three tickets mm-hmm. and get three different books. Yes. It's a wealth that to me, me get rich overnight, you know. <laughs> yes, and indeed the business of including service in the name is quite significant. Because of uh, course it has expanded from books to other kinds of information. In, to uh, you, internet, computer, exactly. art class, right, all kind right, of things. Exhibitions, yeah. whatever it is. But the different ways in which information can be accessed, delivered, made available, yeah. are all manifested in the name of service. Yes, and and so now most of most business entrepreneurs now, and it's, they're, they're getting younger and younger, start out them research and the and this, the establishment and them business. Mm-hmm. By going to library or by going to internet cafe, right, and okay. overnight them become partial expert in a in a new new enterprise mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that is how it is going and that has fortunately has been extending throughout the island yeah. and making people have that facility of the information technology fairly well accessible to them yes so now what people learn in libraries and people learn in these service industries make them even more employable yes yes and this, of course, is where Mr. Jayat made the link with the logistics hub and where the particular skills, the fact that you have got a skill today does not mean that it will be exactly as relevant tomorrow unless you upgrade these skills and match them with the changing environment that yeah. is developing. Yes, yeah. because what I have learned, and I have proven it in myself to be true even before I read it in a book, is that in modern times, the average person in them work in life change careers seven different times. That that is it. That is it. So always as the things develop, as the needs develop, then the people have to change and upgrade to be able to match these needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So bad as things are, if we get to understand that poverty is not just a state of um a state of standard of living. Poverty is also a culture. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. if you teach your children some not better not there. And yes, di- they dif- will not be looking to see how they can match the new demand. Yes, so after that word, is essential. So mm-hmm. afterward poverty become a culture just like our prosperity is a culture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So 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 now we- People who go to the library and spend the amount of time that I used to spend at the library. Cause I, I used to go to the library every day and I change book every day. You know, till, yes. I, till them try to stop me, but there was no... <laughs> people who go to the library every day, you're not going to find those people standing up in a line, going bent the line, bend around the corner of the way the line long, mm-hmm. buying lotto. Yes, yes, yes. People who go to the library every day, more likely going to save up and buy a computer or mm-hmm. buy some book. So it's a culture. Because... Buying lotto and gambling is really a, a, a culture of poverty, you know. To try and save yourself from whatever it is that you are. To get rich quick, mm-hmm. but getting rich is not a quick thing. And not, yes. cost, not costing people who buy lotto, you know, but... No, but you, you can see that there's sometimes there may be a missing link yeah. between what they're doing and where they really want to go. So buying lotto is a consolation prize. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you think that you can't really get the big prize. And don't bother join building society is a form of defeatism. I better you join a building society or a credit union. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or a party. Yeah. Uh, incorporate what you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for having been here. And, yes. w- and when Mr. Jarrett, is he back in the island yet? Yes, I'm sure he is. Well, mm-hmm. well anyway, you did a good job of opening up. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people understand far more from you being here. Yes. And then we'll be able to digest Mr. Jarrett 
is right uh, and as you mentioned this is an annual event yes so the the text of the lecture yeah. and of last year's lecture which was given by yeah. sir george aline yes. those are can be obtained from Hope United Church okay. at a small fee of $300 for both. And this is this is one of those copies you gave to me? Yes, yes. Right. Well, I just gave you the one for this year, but the one for last year. Okay, I, okay. Oh, I did not give you that one. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot, you know. You are most welcome. Yes, ma'am. And um, can you, I want you to put me in touch with Mr. Jarrett and... And I'm so glad that you were able to come here in this independence time and discuss, <laughs> and, and discuss because, you know, between emancipation and independence, people's minds... Yes, yes. Yes, yes. But nevertheless, I trust you had a good independence. Thank you very much. I, mm -hmm. don't, I don't finish yet. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is Mrs. Professor Faye Durant, past head of the Department of Library Studies and Information. Thank you very much. Let's go for a break. <laughs> Yes, morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Um, hello. Wag one, Jerry. Fine, thank you. Wag one. Yeah, well, I watch the international news, there, man. Wag one on South Africa. Yeah. With that, with that guy, that, that athlete, we're shouting, we're shouting girlfriend. Oh, Pistorius. Yeah. I was talking from the beginning, that boy is talking a lot, a bag of lying. You know. So tell me something, that trial never finished yet? No, I man, five months, no, it's a one, man. It uh, started start last night. Start back? Yeah, it started back last night. Mm. The judge, the, the lady judge said she, she's not going to be there next week, so she wanted to think to, to, to sum up and to deal with it. And a nice lady judge, you know, she plot her here in Africa, you know? Plot. African lady? Yeah. Yeah. And she, she plot her here with African plot. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, she was talking this morning. Yeah. Yeah, man, we were talking about that, that, that athlete's brother, man, we shot his, his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And I was saying from the beginning, when I hear the boy attack, I hear him say, it's a bag of lie. Yeah. And up to now, the prosecutor said it's a bag of lie, the boy attacked him. Yeah. When, when the case just started, he, he, he seemed like he was having some mental problem, and he like it solved now. Because when, when the prosecutor attacked, they kind of quiet, and I hear him say. Yeah, maybe most farms farming sick too. I don't know, but, but you remember, they send him a doctor and check out him properly you now, you know. Yeah. So, they find that he's all right now, because he's not quiet and not cry again, so. Uh -huh. You are going well. Yeah. But we'll get about, we'll get about 10 years in prison, man. Yeah. You know, believe that? I don't know, I don't know how South Africa justice system around, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, it's only a judge, you know, it's only one judge that tries to One judge, him. oh, no jury. No jury. Oh, yeah. And, and they call the prosecutor a bulldog, you know. In the Nigeria, like you tell. Oh, yes? Yeah. Tell him a bulldog. Because him name Jeremy is a bulldog. No, they, he call himself bulldog. Oh. So, so, I, I don't bad one we are called upon him. Oh, Mr. I don't say anything bad about him. He call himself bulldog. Mr. Dog. <laughs> we have said the age of us, you know. Yeah. Anyway, look more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Small. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? Good day, you know. Yeah? <laughs> what are you going? Patrick Bailey. Patrick Bailey, you said died? No, man. Patrick Bailey, a little liar, but Patrick Beckford, Becky, oh, brother right, Becky. Oh, because me, I said, right, because me, I said, the liar dead. Yeah. I mean, miss the name, man, a Beckford. Word. Yeah, Patrick Beckford, Becky was our executive of the 12 tribe of Israel and the Ethiopian World Federation for the past 42 plus years. Oh, me and mix it up then. Yes. I think it in his ear, um, Bailey. No. Me Patrick me Bailey, the liar, where I think... No, so right, right. Represent J-U-T... No, no, they represent the, the boss of one of them who, um... The man did name again, um... Some Milo and him Milo association right, and plenty right. him, pl him represent plenty other things, yeah. I mean I mix up the name because I mean I say God, Patrick God, but Yeah. You know? Yeah man. Patrick like Patrick Henry. Mm -hmm. We fight for American independence. I saw independence coming here. Fight for that. And you celebrate independence. When you celebrate independence, you celebrate the fight for independence. You know, no song and dance. Let me tell you no song and dance. Listen to this now. Patrick Patrick Henry said liberty or death. I have a hang up now, but listen to me now. I'm yes. not making no apology when I say this. Yes, ma'am. Because I sincerely believe. You see, before 
Me a 67. Are you? Yeah, my man from 1947. Oh, yeah, I said to me. Me feel, say, in my heart, I'm able to tell you the truth, you know. Yeah. We got love. Because me live, me live, me live through that, that time there, and me live through this time. But to me, before the independence, Yes, ma'am. Me, me, me did prefer that time. Let me not tell no lie. Yeah, why? Eh? Why? We did more peaceful. Yes. That's a number one. Yeah. Me, me, me pawn used to stretch more. Yes. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Me never have no problem with that, with, with, with that time there. Yeah, no problem. Me never have no problem with it. Yeah, and you didn't like when, when the white people have to come over the sidewalk when they walk. Because when you buck up... Me never, me never know about that because me never, me never encounter that. But me I tell you, me, white well, me not come off on the sidewalk, you know, yeah. but, but plenty of people when I walk all down King Street. No, me used to go down King Street. Because hold on, you hold on the little man. Plenty of people, me and you now come off on the sidewalk, but plenty of people when I walk down King Street and then buck up on white people uh, and so-called decent people. Now step down off the sidewalk and make them pass. I never know about that because me used to go. Uh, where, did they, where you did that? Me used to shop on La Parisini. Yes. Me used to shop on Nissan. Yes. Me used to shop on Hissa. Yeah. For me, I, but, but when me and you are, are independent, me and 14 and you are 15, so we never, right. do, we never do much shopping ourselves. By the time, you know because by the time me and you are doing shopping, to me. Yes. In them time, when you are King Street, you have to dr- like exactly. you have dress up like white all. people. You have to dress up like white have people. Dress up for God. And the people with the apple and the grape and the something right by the corner there. So yes, but that, that me I tell you. So. People are tell you how to dress up and you can't come to say. You never know about that because I, I never tell me but that. You, but you have to dress up. But you hear this now. Also, when you go to church, you can't sit down in the front row. Because white people. You know about that, Mr. Small. Well, you either because go to black. Know, because you either go to black people oh, church. Exactly when me know. Yes. You not see it. Yes, me but you either go to black people, people church. Me never have no problem. Well, when my old man come back here, 1934 from England. I'm go to St. Luke's Church. Where him used to go before. And them I tell him say can't sit down there so called that I'm Mr. Sasso seat and that I'm Mr. Sa- that. My old man as a young man never back back that. them way and make them know so well then come take me out of the seat then. But there's a few people like that used to fight. As me hear a man say, like I'm Marcus Gavin. As me hear a man say, yeah. if you bring a boat now and say, all who want to go to England, yeah. come. Yeah. It have a full and run over. But it used to full in the 50s too, because people are... Yes, because my... my no, I can't go much further now. Go with Panita. No, two more... Mo- yeah, you wait, call me back. Call me back after... Yes, but call me back after 11 o'clock, because you say money to me, say credit are done. But I want to hear some more from you. But two more call are here, hear me? Alright, here. Call me back after 11. Yeah. And don't give me no blind date, you know. Don't stand me up. 75 phone when my... No, you see, yeah, you, no, yeah, use a brain for me. I have to go. I'm going to leave you standing for the corner. No, nah, tell Good me morning and welcome day. to the next caller. Uh, Good morning, sir. Morning, right. Mr. Small. Go ahead, please, sir. Yeah, only have a minute, please. Yes, sir. Got a good thing for me, too. Yeah, but, but I want to tell you that every Jamaican citizen yeah. over 18 yeah. should be busily checking their asset base right now to see how much asset they have. Yes. Scouring through their balance sheet. Yes. Because the thing is very fragile now, you see? Yes, sir. I have a friend who went into the hospital in last month. Yeah. And she spent nine days at a certain hospital in half a tree. Yeah. And it's 531000 for the medical bill. A five-star hospital, that five-star. Yeah, yeah, and when she, when they release her... They I'm so sorry, I can't imagine what when they release her. Now, them, the hospital for the $500,000, you're supposed to all go to heaven. You don't know. If you're dead in there, you go straight to heaven, visa and ticket everything. But you can't make joke out of people tragedy. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Come along, please. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. All right, we have some text messages there. Jerry, can you explain the difference between war crimes of crimes against and crimes against humanity? All right, we do have enough time before the news to go. I hope I remember to come back to that. And I don't want to speak with no help great authority, but just some common sense. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Please send happy birthday wishes to Mr. George Dennis, who celebrates his 70th birthday today. May he live to see many more coming from Don. Yes, Mr. George Dennis. Happy 70 years and an ex. Happy 70. Coming from Don. Thank you very much. Next one. Morning, Jerry. Do we have python snakes in Jamaica? I don't think so. 
I don't think it's about the might, you know. I don't know. Python. Next one, Jerry and Joy, the program with Mr. Marriott, Portia, Andrew and Patrick are away. Oh, Mr. Marriott, Portia, Andrew and Patrick are a waste of time. Is this, is this we have to show for our 52 years? Make me sick. At the same time, we can't to blame individuals. We allow, whatever individuals go on with, we allow it to happen. So we are partly to blame. I know you feel, we are partly to blame. We have to get up and do something, not just anything neither. Next one. Hi, Jerry. Why do people sit back and have the government give away the land to the Chinese? These land cannot be returned to us in the future. I thought Garvey Heights, Rust and the UNI, Garvey Heights, Rust and the UNI would have an uprising on this issue. Well, it takes time for people to stir, you know. Sometimes you have to stir it up and stir it, stir it, stir it. Now, next one. Jerry, I hope someone will tell Mrs. Simpson Miller to stop hug and kiss because of the Ebola disease that's going around. Remember, she didn't listen to the news. We can't stop her from doing what she's doing. Let's go for the 11 a.m. headline news. News Talk 93 FM. Heard everywhere. The time on News Talk 93 FM is 11 o'clock. Yes, good morning. We're going to play some music when I have a chance. And I find the names of those people, you know. Three people that I met up in their compound town area. The chef and the two ladies from the Spanish town community. I'm going to play a piece of music, especially them. Some of Clive Dunn, guests, and Wayne, neighbor them, and the chef of all chefs. Well, let's take your call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Yes, good morning. Yes, sir. Even the dealer that Paul himself, who had confounded King Agrippa, spoke about self-help. Yes. In a Galatians, and let us not be weary in well-doing. Yes. For in, in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men especially unto them who have the house will have it. Yes. So man to look out for him, 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 Yeah, the house will have faith. Yeah, look out for him, for him, for him, for everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah. Look out for your sect. The house will have faith. The house will have faith. Those who have faith and, 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 and constitute a household with you, you especially have to look out for you them. You have to look out for them. Yeah. But I heard you talking about the, 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 the grand, the ah. grand sailor, grand yeah. father. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I want to find a word to get, you know? Yeah. And I don't understand it because I was watching it and I said, oh, what a bitter circus. Yeah. Because if, if that's an independence and you and our dear prime minister is telling us that the, the Chinese gave us a gift of a, of a highway while they get two sides of the road, yeah. they don't give you nothing. They, she didn't say the Chinese girls, and that's what you want your out of Who this she gift? Says that gift. Yes, who? She gift, says that gift. gift from who? Gift she from, from who? who? So, so who you are giving a gift when when you get two sides of road, yeah. two sides of the highway? Is that? It's like it's like you go buy a you go to a Chinese restaurant, very nice restaurant. It meal them cost five thousand dollar piece. Cause it really worth it. Very special food. When you done them, give some sweet and some Chinese fortune cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm saying gift you give me. That pay for it now $5,000. The sweet way you give me. And the ice water and the fortune cookie. That pay for a fortune cookie. They're full of fortune. Them full of fortune. But Jerry, you didn't realize that what, what our government has done, you see, mm. is like you're going along some roadways and you have two sides of pasta land. And when you see this thing, cattle crossing, that little sign there? Yeah. Do you know if you hit those cattle, you, you have nothing to get, you know? No, and do you know why? Because the, the land owners gave go because we don't own any land and because of the traditional way we are land holders and the traditional way that the the the, the, the owner of the gave government the right of way through it. So yes, sir. Still. Yes, sir. Tell the people again that one. Land owners and land thief and land yeah. baron, yeah. land yeah. thief control the government of England and the colonial yeah. slavery from that time, mm -hmm. and they give land owners. 
so-called landowners and the cattle the right of way, right of way. So over all all if you do it you have nothing people not realize that there's nothing to get out of it yeah that because yeah. because and the cattle because, so even this time yeah oh you you give but give that to the chinese again yeah so in the chinese decide so much everyone lock the highway don't, 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 don't we have nothing over it. All right, so don't, don't say so the colonization, yeah. so colonization again. Yeah, don't say the Chinese, say China. China. We have to differentiate between the Chinese in Jamaica, the Chinese Jamaican, and China. Yeah. They're not, they're not yeah, that, yeah, because I tell you, the first, the first job I got as a subcontractor was given to me by a Jamaican Chinese. Yes, yes. Yeah, just to my ability, I said, you're going to get that work. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Thank you Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, brother. Good morning, Mr. Small. Well, Mom, a long time I know you're fine. Long time, but may I listen to you, but I never know if you have a work over a holiday. You're good and your family good? Yes, ma'am. Them, 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 whether them scatter abroad or them is here. Guidance and protection. Mr. Small. Yeah. I wonder if the Jamaica government know what is protection against Ebola. Against Ebola? We're getting food. We're getting clothes, yeah. and we're getting material, and we have a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we really secure about it, you know. Oh. And scientists say, and next disease is going to come up, and it is going to be much more far dangerous. Yeah, plague. Right? And we don't think we're in a position to protect and manage that, because we don't have no money, and money... Protection costs money. Yeah, not all protection costs money. But some cost money because if you don't show what and what the people then don't have Africa eat, you can some whole eat more different animal where they are not supposed to eat. Yeah. Because they don't have no food. So they go way far look it, then show you then roast them, create them and do all kinds of stuff with them. Yeah. Sometimes when you have time, you sit down and watch ENS, and you understand where you're going. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Small. Yeah. The road, you see? Yeah. The highway where we get had a deal. Where did they say we get had a deal? Do you know what connection that highway to? What, what do you mean, what connection? All right. Do you hear about a mud lake in Jamaica? Red mud lake? Yeah, ma'am, plenty of them. You hear about the one what the Chinese are them can sell to put in a radio phone and you know say answer. you know say you're one of the brightest people in Jamaica. As you mm. talk me, I see everything, everything, everything. Yeah, you don't show me everything, 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 everything. That's and a long and a long time you talk about it, you know. That no, I met all people, that all people, I'm, all people huh? underrated, so. all people underrated. So. I match up that too. The, the, the mud lake, the red mud lake, is not going to be sold that we can get money to help with. It is going to swap out to fix the road and give us the highway. Look here, man. You know how long you talk you, you know about that? Have a lovely day. And a long time you talk about that? Long time. And I also talk about when the poor people don't uh, can help themselves. Nature fight back against us. The, Bible, the good book says. All right. That will lead us to our retrograde mind. Whatsoever we do, or we eat, or we try to do, it's fire back on us. Well, thank you very much. I will, al I al I will always listen to you very carefully. All right. You think a joke? You know how long she had talked about that? Me just see it. And I'm not going to repeat what she said. I'm going to make you take time to see if you find out what she just said a little while. About the red mud lake and the potential weight of and how China and Japan did a fight. Over forget the rights over all of them thing there. Kiss me neck. One little woman can can have vision, so well, all right. It please God to take the foolish things of the earth and confound the wise and the prudent. May I tell you about that? Good morning and welcome to straight up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Yes, my dear, I know. I'm going to try. I wonder if you're a good way, ladies. Yes, you say so and kiss your neck. You can do that anytime. Anytime. Mind your own business, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yes. Look here now, Uncle Jerry. Yes, sir. The government pressure and people and taxes and so on and things like that. Mm. If they were making the economy good, right, yeah. and running things good and so, you know, people will be willing to pay the taxes and so. Yes. 
a lot of people are really willing to pay the taxes because of the, uh, of the conditions, you know what I mean? Yes. The economic conditions which prevail. Yes. You know? That's what they have to understand. Yes. A second thing, Mungo Jerry. Yeah. When last have you heard from Mr. Zach Henry? He's a good friend of mine, you know. That's one of the family. Zach Henry. Yes, Zach Henry, man. One of the astronauts. Oh, 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 Zach Henry, yes, yes. Yes, Zach Henry. What am I doing? No, I mean, have you, have you heard from him recently? Are the tall one? Yes. No? Okay. Well, last time I saw him was at a, at a funeral, you know. Yeah. You see, you know? Quite some while. Oh, yeah, I see. Yes. You couldn't have him on the program one of these days. Every now and again, my book him up a road, but I think it's about two years since I see him. Oh, yeah, it's quite a while, too. I haven't yeah. seen him. Yes, yeah, sir. You know? So if him, if him, you know? Yeah. Call him here and so on, and just, you know? Yes, yes. You know, but him and thing. You want him to have good for that man. Good, yes, sir. You know, perform and so on. And, um, thirdly, oh, yesterday, the gala. Yeah. The gala event. Your, your memory, you have to, you have to make the, the, the memory, um, you know? Think up, you know. Yeah. Bongo job, because you know, your brain is like a computer. Yes, yesterday. Yeah. I think that Mr. Freddie McGregor. Yeah. And Mrs. Marcia Griffith. Yeah. Took the show, man. Oh, she was so elegant. I didn't get to see it, but that must, oh, that must, that must. Oh, Bongo Jerry, you missed something, man. And it's fair, on and, the TV. And, and it's fair here, you know. Oh, my. She was so elegant, Bongo yeah, yeah. Jerry. She can't help it, you know. Oh, boy, I love your Marcia, man. I mean, and, and Judy Mort. And, yeah. you know, she just came on. We did the most and she belted out yeah, all her hits and so on. I mean, she, boy, she's something else, man. Yeah, I tell you. I she, tell you, man, a gorgeous lady. The girl can't help it. No. Look here, make a look for that. Relicka Richard. Yes. Can we play you, can, you can play um, Step It Out for Babylon. No, we're going to play the girl can't help it. Oh, the girl can't help it. Yes, the Lick girl can't help it. Can she can't help it. And if it don't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Oh, she no need for fix. No, no, she is good, man. She is good. Oh, no, when me say she no broke, I don't mean she have money, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love your master, Griffith. Why I tell her I love her, man. Tell her something she don't know, man. Don't tell her that. Yeah, why? She know that already. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, good, man. good, good. And she good yeah, to go. Yes. Good ah, to go. Thank you very much, Everything. Yeah. Good, 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 Thank you very yeah, much, yes. Good, good. Well, how may I tell you? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, you know. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ah, what are you doing? Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to um, say something in relation to the highway and the, the buzz going on about the highway. No. Yeah. These people take us off food, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, the highway is a feeling in one. It's not a road that you can turn on and turn off a job of mine. Yes. Yeah. Could you explain to me the type of development can take place in those uh, uh, on those long along the along the highway? Um, that I hear that everybody is rushing to buy land for development. What, what development can that highway bring to those lands the, along it? The Chinese, the Chinese, the China, China Harbor. They are going to what? He he hello, you have to move away from that noise, please. All right. The China Harbor, they go and get the access to the all development that going to be difficult for you to do. But they go have the means to do it because they're building the road for themselves. So they, anywhere they want to exit to be, if they want tunnel under the road, if they want radar, they, anything they want, they go and build it in, in build, build it in. So it's for them, it's really for them. That a lot of people are running to get down along the highway. Yeah, but the people who connected. China and the people who connected to the government and the party, they go and get all of the heads up. It's the usual oh, thing, the usual oh, thing. Oh, I said the fraternity. The usual thing. <laughs> all right, hear me now. Yeah. Um, listen, the... No, don't listen to the, the noise around you. Yeah, there is no one. Uh, the reason that the two parties are so successful in Jamaica, you know, yeah. Why you can't move away from yeah. that noise, eh? Huh? Why you can't move away from that noise? Well, I had to leave off the road and go, I mean, uh, I was on the road, but I leave the road and I'm going to a business place and it's because I have the same problem again. All right, so this show now. All right, where is it now? Uh, one of the reasons why the two parties are successful in Jamaica, Jerry, is that our, um, la the large, the large portion of our population, maybe because of poverty and such underprivileged, you know, make them a bit, I'm selfish. So, 
um we 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 are on to one party and uh, this is a free party and when them in a power we get despised and the, the country don't benefit and the people and the world don't benefit because you might have get a little thing for your five years and by the time the uh, government come in see a certain crash and um let a man oh here it is now here it is now most of the people in jamaica is not like what they describe <laughs> most of the people no listen here yes yeah hear me now when you're going when you're going to call the program you see you have to make some preparation you hear me when you're going to call the program make some preparation make sure you are at a certain kind of place and make sure that you have a certain Eh? No, but we can't talk all the time. Listen now. What we're doing now, what we're doing now, we're talking all the time to see if things can get better. But the best, the best thing to do is make the preparation before. And be at a time and a place where the conditions is best. And that time we make most use of time. But you still have an opportunity to phone back because we have nearly 40 minutes left in the program. Call me back. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning and welcome, straight up, you know? Have some text message. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Yes, man, go ahead. I think in short, what you were trying to say to him is yeah. that you have to plan. Plan, if plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail and don't know. You don't know. You didn't know that you was planning successfully to fail. Indeed. And the year up on the ground. Yes, sir. Three extraordinary things on the international scene, Jerry. Yeah. Well, let me start locally. I gather that the police in Portland are marveled as to a new trend that has started. Yeah. I gather that in Long Bay, Portland, Brother Jerry, yeah. a car that was parked, electronic device was used to detect a computer yeah. inside. Yeah. Car that was parked and... Tinted. Yeah, yeah, some computer thieves now. People are thieving laptop. They have instruments that can tell if a laptop is inside their car. Now, that is one hell of a situation. Yeah, yeah. My God, the two foot posts I get from bad to worse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sophisticated. Yes, sir. Another thing, Jerry, in Europe, mm -hmm. I gather that the man who was accused of stealing Michael Schumacher medical report yes. was found dead in his cell. Yeah. He worked with a rescue company that transport individuals that are, you know, sick or are injured. Oh, yes, like ambulance service, yes. I Indeed, air ambulance. Yes. Well, unfortunately, Jerry, Jerry, he will not be able to give any, to shed any light. Yes. On the situation. Yes, uh, yes. He's now dead. Yes, yes. Finally, I see where the prosecutor in closing the Aska Pistorius case. Yes. Have turned up the heat on him. Yeah. And while the jury, jury is out. Yes. My verdict is in. Oh, yes, yes. But we will wait to hear what they have to say. Yes. But believe you me, Brother Jerry. Yeah. I hope he get the full end of the stick. Yeah. Because it's clear to see the what, the what we did not see. Yes, man. The Pistorius end of the stick, yes. He get me pissed off every time I hear yeah. his version of events. Yeah. That keep changing like the weather. Terrible and dreadful. Serious thing. Yeah, man. Look more. Thank you very much. Yes, huh? Indeed. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yes, E.L. Jerry. Ah, uh, what one? Yeah, man, the man didn't go. Yeah, what one? Huh? From, from England, yes. About the march. Yes, I was waiting to hear from about the march, yes, from in England yes. the other day, yes. Yes, on Friday the 1st of yes, August, the Emancipation Day. Yes, sir. Very, very successful. March started by Windrush Square, by Brixton, near the town hall. Yeah. And March straight along Brixton Road, past. Yeah. The cricket ground oval, yeah. where we don't win many matches again, like Farmer did. Yeah. <laughs> but that's an excellent discussion yes. about the cricket thing. Yes. And right over to Westminster, um, Houses of Parliament, and to 10 Downing Street, where a petition was given and demanding reparations. Yes. The weather was lovely, and what was even more lovely is that we had about 3,000 and more Africans. Males and females and girls and boys yeah. marching. The, the 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 police and the rest never expected such a turnout. They yeah. were shocked. Yeah. And it was disciplined. And guess what? Yeah. BBC and the rest of the British media yeah. did not report on it because 
if it had been a case that there was violence or something bad that had happened, it would have been all over the news. And yes, you yes. people in Jamaica would have heard it from them. Yes. But because it was disciplined, yeah. peaceful, disciplined, and so on, in the Marcus Garvey spirit for reparations, yeah. they did no report. But guess what happened? We doing the work of Marcus Garvey because people hearing the report on your show. Yes. You are in Jamaica, the land Robert Marcus Garvey. Yeah. I as an African from Jamaica phoning from London. Yeah. So no matter what them try to do, we still get in the messages out to our people. Cause straight and up heard. I to know that your program is popular in Britain. Well, straight up heard all over. Thank God for that. Yes, I want you to know that. A lot of people listen to your show for one simple reason. Whether they agree with you or not, you make people abroad, and in Jamaica too, aware of things. You are not afraid of saying things that a lot of talk shows are afraid of talking about, for whatever reason, or for curry favor. Well, thank you very much for the compliment so, and encouragement. Yes. Keep on doing that. And as we're talking about that too, I want, um, I heard what you were saying about the, the, the sham of so-called celebrating Marcus Garvey yesterday. Yeah. And I just said independence is not something about song and dance. No. You said it's about fighting for independence. Yes, man. And what, you, what you're telling me is that it was a mockery that went on. Yes, it's a mockery. A mockery complete with clowns. With clowns. Yes. Bringing and, the clowns. And, you, and it means that it's I mean, like we need Africans in Jamaica to be marching against such things and against the Chinese regime's colonization. Yeah, well, China and any, any big country in the world, any growing country is going to spread out. The betrayal is not by the Chinese. The betrayal is by some of the, the same stack of people from Dunga. By the internal traitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the internal traitors who yeah. we have to de deal with. Because the external enemies can only work through the internal enemies. Yes, and, 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 Chi and China is not an enemy to us, you know. But the traitors, the traitors prove themselves um, is enemy action. One, one is, yes, one, one is, no, well, yes, I have to go now, listen, don't press our people. yes, I have to go now, but thank you very much for the call, but as they say, once is happenstance, it just happened, twice is coincidence, yes, uh, uh, hold on now, hold on now, yes, once mm -hmm. is happenstance, it just happened by chance, twice is coincidence, but three times is enemy action, thank you very much, here, man, man, dingo, thank you, so, man, dingo, I will keep, I will keep reports to yes. the, Keep you know what is going on otherwise and keep up the good work and right. never stop. Thank you very much, yes, huh? One text message before we go. Ross Jerry, I don't want to I want you to keep eyes on Garnet. I don't trust the guy. He is an agent of Babylon coming from Chris. Uh, yeah. Next one. Jerry, what's up with the text? Serious argument. Dance all needs to be rescued. Big up bounty, busy and bugle. Three B S or three B's. Three B's, okay. What's up with the texts? Let's go for a break and come back. Yeah, good morning. Welcome back to Straight Up. Just before I take a call, I'm going, I'm going to acknowledge these three people that I was looking for them name from Monday. I'm going to play just a two couple of bars of a piece of music because that's what friends are for. Yeah, man, we're going to yell the great chef Gaddafi, otherwise named as James Campbell. That a Clive Chef, you know. Clive Chef, him guess how's down in our compound. And when sister and when bring on the neighbors from Spanish Town. Spanish Town are the first city of Babylon in Jamaica, you know. Spanish Town. So Mobile is not the second city. And Kingston is not the first city. Spanish Town are the first city of Babylon in Jamaica. Then Port Royal. Then Kingston. Then Mobile. Mobile are the fourth city of Babylon in Jamaica. So the people from the first city of Babylon in Jamaica, Sophia and Juliet. Friends of Wayne O'Brien, bring them in. Sophia and Juliet, special greeting. Tell them, tell them for me, Wayne and Clive, that we acknowledge them. Sophia and Juliet, who come bless the place. And also, Gaddafi, the great chef. James Campbell, great chef. Gaddafi. And we're going to play two little bar of music before your phone call. That's what friends are for, including Becky and him family.
Yes, we're going to go to the phone call because we have some text messages. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hey. Yes, sir. Well, you hear me cry this morning, man? You hear me cry? Yeah. I'm not talking about the bread, you're not dead. I hear you, I lie. <laughs> I could assure you, boy, me, when you talk about the man who is dead, yes. you could assure yeah. me, you hear like you cry. You are bald for Pistorius. No, man. Yes, you are bald for Pistorius. So the, the brother that I die, are you born in five brethren? Yes, yes, yes. You school me yet? No, I'm going to 40 and I'm going to campus. Oh. Uh, one forty and one campus. And it's not only campus to campus. When we shoot, we never miss. Mm. At Jamaica College and at KC. The brave, yeah. the brave. Yeah, but me, me hear like you're crying for him, man. You can't go and lie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Straight up. Good morning. Well, we have some text message. Everything will work beautifully. Jerry Small was Peter Phillips like that when he was your close friend or did politics change him? Coming from home at Black, what? At Blair, at Blackberry, something or another. Coming from America. Was he like that, what? When you say, was he like that? What do you mean? Was he like fat? Or like that? Which, what, what do you mean, like that? I need to, I need to know. That meaning pork? That uh, our next name for pork. I mean, was he like pork or was he like fat? Or, I don't understand you. Or was he like Jack Spratt? I don't know if he means when he said he was he like that. Next one. Good day, Mr. Small. One thing I know him did well fit, because he was a way to do martial arts you now, under some tutelage. And him did well strong and fit and all them way. The whole way when we were younger, we were stronger. But now that we were wiser, so. Six or one half dozen of the other. Next one. Good morning, Mr. Small. What information you have on the Westmoreland Ganja story? Oh, come here. Story, please. I don't have much information on it. I know you have a Westman and Ganja Farmers um, organization. Next one. Jerry, every morning you come on the radio angry and bitter. You never have nothing good yet to say about the PNP. Back off and leave decent people alone. All right, well, we left decent people alone. You, we left decent people alone, but you are addicted to the program. I don't wrong for being addicted to the program. We are not addicted to the PNP or the GLP. Thank God. Not addicted. You understand me? You say we beat the angry. A joke you make. We are so happy it's not funny. Yes, we are. Next one. Jerry, who in the nation mourning you are them? Who in the nation mourning you are them? Uh, I need to understand some more. Jerry, who in the nation mourning you are them? I need to understand some more. Next one. Good morning, Uncle Jerry. The gala lacks aspects of our real achievements, hopes, and aspirations. I feel no sense of progress like with post galas coming from audacity. A true man. Next one. Hail Robin. A giant, a gift, are they the same thing? A giant and a, a, a grant and a gift are the same thing? Yes, a grant and a gift is the same thing. A grant still have a difference because it is answering the needs of someone. Answering the needs of someone freely. A gift don't necessarily be a response to a need. A gift probably is most likely, most times motivated just by a sense of charity, of charity. A grant is usually responding to a need, an express need, or a perceived need, or an evident need, plain to see. Next one. The thunder roll, the rain of a bus. Jerry, the people from, the people them soon start complaining, say we are getting too much rain. We cannot make up our minds, so God don't know what to send us. Why are you saying that people are soon complaining about rain? If they don't start to complain yet, why are you predicting that them soon complain about rain? Yet it wouldn't surprise if people complain. But why talk down yourself? And why talk down the people? I don't want to predict no bad thing about no people. But going off of evidence, sometimes you know what to expect. But you don't understand me. Next one. Jerry, I hope every scatters. In Jamaica, come together and demand the land. I think they mean squatters. Every squatters in Jamaica come to bed together and demand free land from the government. If rich Chinese can get free land, poor Jamaicans have to get it also. I'm glad you know that. It's a must, not only in Jamaica, but around the world. This world will not know peace until the right of every human being to have land is realized. No peace in the world till that realized. As thousands of years now, they organize and take away the land from the majority of people. Communism or capitalism, none of them is a perfect solution. 
or none of them uh, uh, none of them is near perfect so the human beings are going to work and work and work on better formula and better solutions until uh, at least until every human being enjoy the right to a living space good morning and welcome to straight up hello are you there good morning and welcome to straight up are you there now we want Marcia Griffiths here early. She is back in Jamaica. She promised that she will be here to celebrate with us our 50th anniversary, which passed, which the 50th anniversary is really um, 64 Christmas to, 60, to 2004 Christmas, 14 Christmas. So anytime, do you know, was it 63 Christmas or start? I think it's 64 Christmas or start, you know. So this is a whole year celebration of her. We need our back. We have a number for her, but anybody in contact with her, or her husband, Mr. PV, Dr. PV Fraser, we would love to have her even tomorrow, at her convenience anyway. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning again, Mr. Small. Welcome, yes, sir. Yeah, I was just telling you about my friend. Yes, sir. She gets her pension from America, you know? Her pension, yes. Yeah, and she gets sick. Yeah. She have a hard problem and she spent nine days in a medical hospital in half a tree. Yeah. And the doctor bill come to five hundred and thirty one thousand. Thirty thousand a day to spend in the hospital, different from doctors visit and medicine and food. Yeah. Right? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, when they discharge her from the hospital and her brother went and pick her up and carry her yeah. home. Yeah. As she come out of the car, she collapsed. Yeah. And he had was to rush her back to the hospital. She black out, you know? Yeah. When her heart valve was closing. Uh. And when she went back to the hospital, they said she would have to re-register over. Oh, yeah. And she will be admitted, and they have to pay 100000 for the admittance up front, you know? Yeah. And they us around and pay it. And you see, when she recover. From the blackout about six days later, yeah. the bill that they work out for her that she's going to spend about two weeks in the hospital. Yeah. They send an ambulance with a nurse with her to the bank to make the withdrawal and pay the doctor fee before they can continue. So they hold her hostage. Yes, so I was telling the Jamaican people about this accident when they said pain, people are going to feel pain. Yeah. Countries don't feel pain, it's people feel pain. Yeah, people feel pain. This is the pain of the IMF program that they're talking about. And we Jamaican people, we need to secure each other because Tony Sparling, you see? Yeah. I used to live in Tony Sparling constituency when I was much younger. Yeah. And he was telling us one day that one of the, the IMF negotiator was telling Mr. Manley, that in Jamaica, he noticed that when a boy reached 18 years old, yeah. he has two and three baby mother. Yeah. And in America and Europe, they do have that luxury. Yeah. 25 year old boys have to be going and doing master's degree. Yeah. So how we support that? So when you hear the talk about structural adjustment, they're going to kill that culture. Yeah. And they're also going to kill the native culture. Yeah. Because they are saying that a lot of us is going around having sex like bunny rabbit. Yeah. And we're not securing each other. Yes. And when you reach certain stage in life in Jamaica, yeah. there is no medical care for you. So all the boyfriend and girlfriends out there that are playing games with each other, yeah. they need to think about the assets that they have. Yes, well, here it is now. Here it is. Secure each other. Yes, here it is now. We have a duty. We as our elder ones have a duty to start talk truth, not only to power, but truth to our youth them. And um, we have to exert some more discipline. Is it like how you watched a gang girl yesterday? Yes. The marching is a joke. You ever see all them police? Yes, you ever see all them police and some little idiot cadet and soldier? Them a march and throw up the man in the air, way up in the air like, like them a Dubai and Lee, Skia, Skia, Jamaica, Skia. Yes, sir. If you can't march properly, you're not going to think properly, you're not going to shoot straight, you're not going to look properly, you're not going to be disciplined. And therefore, we have to get some discipline, exert some discipline, and impart some discipline to our younger ones and our people. And tough as it may seem, we have to get them into the culture of not having children as many as us, and as early as us, unless we set up a house already, and a, and a, and a food plan, and a earning, 
And yeah, then we'll uh, okay, yeah, I, okay, I can't stay longer. I can't stay longer, sir. But I value your phone call. I want you to call me again tomorrow early because I value your contribution. All the best, yes, sir. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Straight up. Let's go for a break. Man, now welcome back to straight up. Just a comment before I take your phone call. You think you could have go to Korea or in the national parade with them have and go to Russia or go to China or go to United States or in a small country even Grenada and you see them have a national parade and you see them have march like a set of poppy show you turn in the youth and a set of poppy show the youths are better than that have better potential than that and you bring some like a low standard and like a low values and go and bring the youth them out like a like a poppy show a march some like an idiot marching like some police cadet I sure said the army couldn't, wouldn't put out marchers like that, like what the police put out on the idiot march all the while. Can't even march in step with one another. Idiot business pretending to be some uniformed troops. Making a mockery of Marcus Gavim Union, just like on the, on the movement. Just like all the people who claim to be president of the UNIA. Making a mockery of Marcus Gavim. They're saying poppy show, like the little idiot march of them. Turning the youth, them in the idiot and poppy show and a mockery. You think you could have go to Korea? or China, or anyway, Japan, and see so them youth and march them kind of way, them some militant, them marching as one, think you could go to Libya, or Egypt, or in them places, and see so youth and march, and make an idiot march, Ethiopia, in a serious country, a joke you know I make, and we're not talking about marching now, we're talking about discipline, and some Lisa Hannah march at them there, them they are not Gaviaites marcher, the youths are Gaviaites, but the marching, the hand is the hand of Esau, but the voice is the voice of Jacob, a trickery. Putting up Stephen Golden and Miss Lady as some like a puppet and puppy show. The hand of Esau and the voice of Jacob. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Morning and welcome morning. to Straight Up. Morning, welcome. Yes, sir. I hope you'll have the courage to continue. Yes, sir. And the wisdom to seek and speak truth as you've been largely doing. Um, I happen to have gone to the opening of the, the highway. Yes, yeah, sir. And two things that um, stand out in my mind. Yeah. From the roundabout yeah. down to the toll booth, yeah. there were streamers on both sides yes. um, planted in the ground. Yes. None of which I could read. Yes, Chin what do you mean, because, a Chinese? Eh? In a Chinese? In a Chinese? Yes, sir. I you mean, you thought, you know, alternate them. It's a joint thing between us. Yes. Or from them. Yes. Every striking one of the, the streamers was in China. It's not between us and them. Portia Simpson, Mill, and Omar Davis, and no, all no, of them. No, no, we are the country, and they are. No, listen here. We, we, we are not. We are not. Exploiting the opportunity that is open to them. We are not the country. Huh? We are the population. Uh, Omar Davis and Portia Simpson, Mill, all of them is honorary Chinese citizens, and that you don't know. Well, I want to know when, if I was ready to go down there, if I can go without a visa, without a visa. Did you see yeah, the young ladies? Only for them can come here without visa. Did you see the young ladies when them dress up in a Chinese girl uniform? Yeah. yeah. Red, <laughs> red Chinese girl I uniform. I away. Wait, wait, were you there? No, I watch it on the TV. Okay, right. Okay. The other thing is. Yes. They said they were going to open the place. Yeah. It was scheduled for 10 o'clock. Yes. You'd have, you'd have figured on a two-hour function, yes. and then maybe a one-hour tour. Yeah. There was no indication when you got there, by signage or otherwise, yes. to tell you that the road could not be used that, that day. No. It's afterwards we hear in the media yes. that it opened at 6 o'clock They have no the morning. They have no respect. They, 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 they claim that they're giving you a gift. They can't organize nothing. So beggars are not choosers. What they are saying to you, beggars are not no, choosers. you need information. And where no bones are provided, no dogs are invited. Uh. So like what the Chinese say, they are the running dogs of imperialism, the lap dogs of imperialism. Them. No, I'm sure we can do better than that. We can, but they cannot. The puppets of the Jamaican. Well, we, we must stop. Yeah, yeah, you hear me now? demand it of them because yeah, yeah, they, are, they are only stewards. We, no, we're not, I'm not demanding nothing of them. They are a set of sellout and traitor. 
And um, we, the people, well, can do better and will do better. We'll have to crowd them out. We'll, sir, more certainly. Yeah. Put more feet on the ground. And, and crowd all them. of the king's horses and all the king's men were born to organize up our FBI. All of the king's horses and all of the king's men will not be able to put them to them to together again. Now, we're in, we're in bad shape. Yeah, no, we are not in bad shape. Them in bad shape. No, no. What they are trying to do to represent us is in poor shape. Yes, they are in bad shape. Yeah, they are shapeless. Shape. Shapeless and shameless. Yeah. Look here now. Now, look, Don't. let not your heart be troubled you now. Everything good and everything is coming along no, fine. We're getting a lot of exposure, man. Yes, but, but no, we the people is in fine condition like Bolton, Shelley and... The athlete, them, the singers, the workers of Jamaica, we're in fine shape. And we're shaking we, off this shock We need to organize and take action. We need to organize more. We already are organizing. And up and up and up, you might raise. You start up already. All right. Don't be another turn. Thank you very much, Yosa. The jigs are puzzle coming together, man. No, for, no worries, sir. You don't feel it. Are you the same one? Or you don't feel it? You know it, man. Good morning. Who feel it? Know it. Morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Come along. Go read some text message. Here it goes. Condolence to the family of Morris Dean. Morris Dean, no, Maria Dean, who was beaten to death. Maria Dean, oh yes. By the police on the holiday weekend for a spliff. What a disgrace. In a man to go be a Barnet Street Police Station. The youth in the station, the relative come be him. say, boy, I'm not like police. No. The police woman says, I don't like what him say. And I'm not going to make him get bail. Now we're keeping him here for another two hours. What? Them keep him there for the next two hours. So you know them keep him there for the next two hours? She, the police woman, detain him for the next two hours that him family can go away so that them can get to beat him to death. That police woman, if this report is true, detain him for the next two hours specifically to put on some lick on him. And if the report is true, she is a criminal. And you have some police ma woman, worse than policeman, I know that. You have some police woman worse than the policeman them. And if the, she had a penis, she couldn't be worse. You have some police woman if them they have a penis, them couldn't worse than the policeman. Them couldn't worse than what them say. And yet we know that the majority of human beings is good intention and good nature. And the majority of police woman in Jamaica, in Jamaica, is good intention and good nature. But you have some rat one there, some Ebola of police. We detain the man two hours longer that him family for go away eh? that them can get to beat him the right way. I can read the next text message. Hey Jerry, if the Maroons are real Africans, how come they have English names since they are mostly free? They are not perfect and I admire the people who are changing them name back to African name. I have not yet done so. And I admire people who have done things that I have not done. You don't understand me. On, I'm not going to really run my mode upon them. I understand what you say still. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Good morning. Welcome. Straight Up. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, Back sir. with you. Yes, sir. In terms of the, the, um, the march, reparation yes. march in London. Yes, sir. Did, did Mondigo say the um, media houses were there or they didn't cover it at all? They didn't report it. Most, didn't report most it. likely they were there, but uh, they didn't right. report it. That tells us something. Yes, sir. We need to march more, broader, yeah, yeah. wider, and higher. There's no failure, man. Look at that. This, this <laughs> thing went to take Europe. This thing went to take every country in Europe, you know, because there are Africans and disinherited people from the, all over the world in all of those countries, and it went to take them. The pin, the pin is, the pin is pretty. Yes. They are, we are yeah. inside of them, inside of them, inside of the belly of the beast already. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. we're going to take a link with him again. So we're going to sick. Yeah, man. We're we going to sick them no? stomach, man. We're going to sick them stomach. All right. Yes, sir. Very good. I want to call there. Well, hear this now. I want to thank you. I want to thank my guest today. I want to thank my producer, Tanya Richards. And our production assistant, Shadi Walters. Walton. And I want to thank um, my broadcast technician, Kevin Williams. I'll tell you about that. And, um... Yeah, man, they... Police woman in Montego Bay don't like what the youth say. And she organize and keep him there two hours more. And make the family go away. And summon the other police. And tell them what the youth say. And then now them fix him business. That's what them do. And Bunting is organizing them more efficiently. More efficiently. 
for organize a police state, a police military state. Yes, a police military state they organize against the people of Jamaica. Well, make us say it go. Well, hear me now. Greetings to Marsha Griffiths. I'm going to play this piece of music for you by Billy. What's name? Little Richard. The girl can't help it. She can't help being as great as what she is. Let's have it. Straight up till tomorrow. Ja Willing. Straight up. Good afternoon. It's time for the midday news here on News Talk 93 FM. I'm Errol Lee. Coming up in this newscast, Jamaica records first cases of local transmission of the chikungunya virus. Flags fly at half mast as mourning continues for former Governor General Sir Howard Cook. China Harbor Engineering Company check to begin work at the Portland Bight and DPP to apply for death penalty for convicted murderers of gay rights activist Lenford Harvey.